Well, the dollar just can't win right now. It's still soft, down a few points the past month, and highlighting doubts about the pace of economic growth in the U.S. Meanwhile, gold has been scoring because of the uncertainty. And now there might be a new use for the precious metal. Joining me now, Peter Schiff, CEO of Euro Pacific Capital. Peter, the dollar's weak, the gold gets a rise from that. What role does heightened geopolitical tensions play in all of this? We have the conflict between the U.S. and North Korea, the U.S. and Russia. What role does it play? Well, it should play a larger role than it has been playing. You know, even though the dollar is down this year, you know, it got a bit of a jolt today from a, a record number of job openings. But, I mean, this is what we've been having uh, during the Obama administration. Most of these jobs go unfilled. Uh, Americans lack the skills, and a lot of them are low-paying and part-time. Uh, but given the fact that the dollar has been so weak this year, uh, the price of gold has actually not strengthened very much. I mean, it's gone up in dollars, uh, but in many of the other currencies against which the dollar has been falling, the price of gold has been very flat. And at some point, though, I do expect people to embrace gold, not necessarily because of the geopolitical aspects, but because of the inflationary aspects, uh, because people realize that these fiat currencies are going to lose a lot of purchasing power, that a lot of central banks are stuck at the zero bound. And even if they raise interest rates slightly, they're going to lower them back down and they keep doing quantitative easing. So mm -hmm. I think people will be drawn back to gold for the monetary properties it has had for centuries. Well, there might be good news for gold, too. The researchers at the University of Edinburgh found precious metals could be used to make certain lung cancer drugs more effective. What is the prospect of finding another use for gold due to the commodity? Yeah, you know, there are a lot of uses for gold. Surprisingly, so many people think there are none. Uh, but, you know, they have been using gold in medicine for a while, and the fact that they can find new cures that might involve uh, bits of gold, I mean, it's just another reason that gold works as money, because it has so much intrinsic value. It has properties that other metals don't have, and so it has a lot of uses separate and apart from its being a store of value or a medium of exchange. You know, that's something that all these cryptocurrencies don't have, and all the people that think that they're viable money cannot differentiate between these cryptocurrencies and gold because for some reason they think they have they think gold has no value either hmm. Peter how do investors typically react when something like this happens when you find a new use for gold I know it's early but but typically how would they react well, it all depends on how much gold would be required in, in, in this process. I mean, you're talking about small amounts of gold. I'm not sure exactly how many people would need this particular cure. So on the margin, how much additional real-world demand would be created for gold based on this use, I have no idea. I mean, obviously, the price of gold barely moved today, uh, so mm -hmm. this particular uh, news story didn't have much effect on it. But overall, on balance, you know, the more uses that can be discovered for gold, the more demand there will be. I mean, normally, gold is so valuable and so expensive that they end up substituting uh, less expensive metals uh, even if gold would be better. But there may be some circumstances where you absolutely have to have gold and therefore the price is no object. You have to pay whatever the cost is. Well, gold fell from a seven-week high after you mentioned it earlier, the positive jobs report last week. Do you think that the selling was a little premature? And, and to follow that, how do you think the market's going to react when the Fed raises interest rates later this year? Well, I, I don't think it's odd that some of the traders took profits on their short dollar bets when we got a jobs report that mm -hmm. was better than expected. But if you look at this jobs report in the context of all the jobs reports that have preceded it, these are the same, same types of reports that we have been getting uh, for months and years under Obama. You know, Donald Trump wants to claim that everything is great, even though these are virtually identical to the same reports he criticized as being fake. Uh, but I don't think anything has been changed by that report. Same thing with the Fed rate hikes. You know, ever since the Fed started raising rates, that's really when the dollar stopped rising. Now, it really didn't start falling until more recently. And I think the dollar is going to continue to fall regardless of whether or not the Fed raises rates one or two more times. But ultimately, the big move in the dollar is going to come when they have to stop raising rates, when they have to admit that they're finished tightening and that they're going to start easing again, because that hasn't even been 
begun to be factored into the dollar. Wait till the Fed has to cut rates. Wait till they have to do QE4. I mean, the dollar is losing ground right now when people expect quantitative tightening. They expect the Fed to be shrinking its balance sheet mm -hmm. later this year. When the markets are surprised by the Fed having to admit that the balance sheet is going to grow even larger instead, I think it's a long way down for the dollar. Peter Schiff, CEO of Euro Pacific Capital. Always a pleasure having you on. Thank you so much. Sure.